Special shout out to all my amazing members and patrons for going above and beyond and supporting the channel. They are Sam Medina, Matthew Hall, Lucky Chalms, Rick Hemingway, Charlene Kelly, Iron Beast, Madlow, Yumi, Kilabati264, Justin Rice, MD7408, The Hellraiser, Conan876, Pietri, Belco, Jellybeams, UK's Reaper, Crabians, Real Furious, Ramsey, Nathan V, and Audigasms. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Hey everyone, and welcome back to Rebirth Mod. So, we need a red tea quickly. Actually, I think we should be able to make ourselves some. Uh, distilled water. Yeah, I'm just gonna make one or two. What are you shooting at right now? Seriously though, why are you shooting at zombies that you're not supposed to be shooting at? It's not like the zombie was attacking me or something just now. See, the, the large cursor here makes it really hard to pin, uh, accurately pinpoint shoot the zombies. Oh yeah, we had a mutant seek at the end of the last episode, so we might get a screamer right now. I want to work on the horde base a bit, a little bit more. And then we have to go and dig way more sand. Because now we have quite a bit of stone. Where's the stone? Yeah. We have a ton of stone, we have some cement, we have more cement cooking. We just need sand. And with the yucca, I keep saying red tea. With the yucca juice, we'll be able to go and make ourselves and dig way more with uh, way less stamina. So instead of having to do a power attack, which is slow, you can just left click, it one shots destroys dirt, and we can just go and mine. So if I can just go back to that desert spot that we were, any kind of desert, actually the closest part, and just go mine during the night as much as possible, and then in the morning I have enough sand to just make a ton of concrete. Guys, we need this base to be done before the next horde. And at this stage, I'm kind of worried about that. Um, yeah, we have 50 explosion and resist concrete over here. Let me just see, no screamers are showing up, right? Um, we need to finish that over there, and I also want to see if I can't make myself a makeshift screamer defense. Um, like for example, we can actually make a staircase over there that they can follow up, put some barbed fences, and then put the fire over there. That way the zombies have to run up the stairs, go past the barbed fences, we just shoot in a straight line at their heads. That's a very nice and easy way to farm some screamers. The only problem is, obviously, when they start getting crops and stuff involved, uh, because the crops will be able to vomit at us and shoot at us and stuff when we are not ready, so... Except for that, we should be good to go. That's making more cement. Uh, you are making the other one of this. Let's go. It is almost nighttime, so I have to be careful. Let's make sure this gun is reloaded. I'm going to quickly go to the closest desert part. Uh, try right past Breston over there. We literally just want to dig the whole night or as much... If we can get like three, 4,000 sand, it's easy enough getting cement because you can just make cement. Oh, then again. If I can get some oil shale while I'm here as well. I am in the desert for that reason. So if we can get some oil shale and get a ton of sand, that will help because for cement, you need oil shale and sand. So if we can get like 5,000 sand or something, we'll be able to make more cement and we'll be able to go and make more concrete mix. And then soon, I need to actually see if I can't find some more um, burnt POIs, uh, military camp, stuff like that, so I can get more body bags. Even a hospital. We need to see if there's no hospitals in the area. If we can get some body bags from there, we'll be able to make more explosion resist powder and we'll be able to make stacks and stacks of explosion resist blocks. Okay, so... These zombies have sensed me down here, yeah? and also my strength just went up to level 4. Come on, I know there's another zombie over here, I need to be careful. But yeah, just digging like this, I can see the massive tunnel I'm digging over here, it's gonna be a 2x3. Um, yeah, we've, been, we've got almost like a thousand sand, if not more. And now all of a sudden my strength went up to level 4, so I just need to mine more to get my strength up. The more I can get my strength up like this, the more we'll be able to unlock a uh, pack mule. And if pack mule is all the way unlocked, we don't have to worry about him getting encumbered anymore. There's definitely still a zombie dude upstairs that heard me just now. I'm leaving that hole open in case he wants to jump down. But for some reason, it seems like he doesn't want to get down here. Come on. What if I do this? I don't want them interrupting me while I'm busy digging. Oh, hello. To make you fall in. See, this is not supposed to do any damage to him because it's headshot only. But apparently there's a little bit of a bug at the moment, so, um, yeah, uh, I know that Ramsey isn't gonna fix this. Crap. Come on. Incoming enemies, prepare for conflict. Why can't I see him? Oh, hello. Oopsie, oops. Oh. Oh, that was messed up just now. That was a mistake. That was a little bit of a mistake just now. Damn. We have to make a new tunnel here now just to make sure we don't have to worry about the dude. Also, guys, I had to go back and just get my other glasses because I forgot that we were going to be digging over here. So I had to go fetch my mother load glasses. 
And if it wasn't for this, we'd be having, yeah, we'd have way less at the moment than what we do right now. Okay, now I have a little bit of a problem. I could dig over here. I keep digging. But it's going to have to be a singular tunnel. So if, a, uh, if an event or something comes for us right now, we'd be safe. Unless, how much sand do we have? I said I want five. Let's just go for three more minutes. I said I want 5,000. But if we can just at least use up all of our... Uh, yucca juice over here. We, I've been digging for five minutes already. So if we can use up the rest of the yucca uh, uh, drink that we already drank, we can always just come back later for this. At the moment, we should have enough cement to, uh, so we don't have to worry about making any more. I was hoping we'd actually hit like a node of um, oil shale, so we can just dig a little bit of that as well. But yeah, well, we might still be able to get it. Uh, it's just a problem. Yep, that is not good. Damn it. Uh, where's the zombie? In the hole. Hello, hello, hello. My senses have picked up something. Oh, let's remember this is we can actually pick this up. <laughs> I didn't do this earlier. Uh, everything caving in that's gonna give us more sand. Hello. If we can get some oil shale over here, we can actually use the second drink to get all the oil shale we need. The only problem is if you're underground like this, an event triggers, especially like a soldier or a uh, bandit or something like that. If the bandits come for us or an alpha grudge goes downstairs, we might have a massive problem. We don't have an NPC with us. If you had an NPC with us, we might be able to get more done as well. Let's see if I can't see some oil shale over here. Usually it's on the surface, right? Just like the iron and stuff. Is it also on the surface? What happens if I dig this? What do I get? Limestone, stone. Okay, so this, that doesn't show you where you can get more oil shale. I think if I'm not mistaken, um, that's a Darkness Falls thing. If you break up a boulder, it shows you what kind of resources in the vicinity. I just need some oil shale on the surface, and as soon as we find that, we can dig down on top of that and find a mine. If I can dig for eight minutes, I think it's a... Uh, no, that is lead. If we can just dig for eight minutes, we'll have so much oil shale and be able to make way more cement and stuff as well. I don't want to go too deep into the desert though, because we are going to have way too many zombies, especially fire immunes, uh, starting to pop up as well. Okay, so for now, I think we just have to give up on this one. Now, I'm not seeing any oil shells super close by, I'm just quickly scanning the terrain. I'm not seeing any oil shells super close by, I don't want to go too deep into the desert over here and then have to, have to deal with all of the nighttime zombies and terrors and stuff. So then let's just go back to the base and just see what we can actually do with what we have right now. I also want to see if I can't quickly make us a Screamer farm. Um, because as you guys saw, the Screamer zombies are way easier. Oh, what the hell? Okay, I thought it was a friendly fox over here, but that is a... Ah, uh, yeah, an enemy. Oh, hello, zombie emit. We skin this one, and we skin this one. Thank you. Okay, drop this. Press sand, we can make more cement. Uh, no, yeah, not more cement, we can make more concrete mix. There you go. We can make more cement now, but I think we need oil shale. We're very low in oil shale. 910, that's 455. 455. Uh, no, come on. There you go. See, if we have the thing that I want to make right now, when we hear footsteps like this in the nighttime, like the dude over here, there's a zombie underneath. Come on. Uh, if I hear footsteps like this, I can just really run to the screamer farm and face the zombies. And then we face them in one straight line, and it's going to be so much easier taking them down. I've gotten a little bit more used to shooting above the gun like this, but it's still really tough. It's a little bit tough still. See, I'm aiming... Uh, yeah, but I need to aim there. Unfortunately, the nozzle on this, or the, the sights on this thing is super high up. I'm just not used to the guns being this high. Okay, there's a lot of lag right now, so there might be a wandering horde spawning in. And there's just a lot of errors. Wait, what? Furious Ramsey Zombie 5. Oh, sorry, Ramsey. <laughs> okay, so let's just really go and do this. Uh, we need to dump more. And we can drop. Activated charcoal, we can make more distilled water. Le at least here, you don't need to use any more fuel and stuff. Over here, we can- yep, there's more activated charcoal. Hello. 
Yeah, I need to make just, 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 just distilled water. We can even do it with murky water. Look at that. Boom. Oh, that was lag just now. Lag spike. That's why I was clicking when nothing was happening on screen. I need to still check this out. I'm so confused when it comes to this. I'm guessing it's just for the Necroman monster class, but you can actually also go and make this stuff. Hammer and pliers. Do we have those? Uh, we should be able to make more, right? Bench tools. Pliers and wire cutters. Hammer and pliers. Hammer and pliers. Hammer. Can we make them? Oh, man. Pliers. Hammer and pliers. We make that on us. Pliers. Yep, there you go. I think the workbench... Yeah, the workbench has... This one has... Now we're just making for this bench over here. Come on, finish crafting. There you go. And now we can make the signal thingy. Um, What does this do? Let's see. Tier 2 Screamer Horde signal. Activate this to attract zombies and screamers to your location. The longer it remains active, the more zombies will zone, uh, zero in on your location. I'm guessing the higher up it goes, the more like, uh, likely for cops and stuff to uh, come as well. Also, you can make skeleton warriors if you're the necromancer class. So we already encountered one skeleton warrior, but only once ever. I'm going to make it tier 2. We've only once encountered the, uh, those and never again. So I wonder where they are. We can go do a little, little bit more work on the horde base. And then I want to grab some blocks. Oh, we have all the cobble on us. Um, I'm going to use a cobble over here to make a screamer base. It just needs to be cobble as far as I'm aware. Because, um, yeah, as long as you have a proper pathway, the zombies will pathway as opposed to. And then I'm going to also make ourselves some barbed fences. I'm going to slow them down. I need them to run in a straight line. So I'm not going to be using the hatches and all that stuff to make the zombies jump. If they're coming in a straight line, then we'll be able to shoot them easier. So I'm going to do 50 for now. That's that's overkill, but that's okay. I need you to come with me. Because I am going to be busy over here. The zombie over there. Okay, so um, technically if I make the... Oh, I'm hoping the zombies don't go for the pillars. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go for the centered one. One. Two. Three. Four. And the fifth one. Uh, you need to be... You don't, you don't want to be too high up. Why are you shooting my bike, dude? Okay, and then from there we need stairs, but we can actually do this to slow them down a bit. Drone, now you are in the way. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Accidentally did that. I'm gonna do this, and I'm gonna put some ladders on the side of here as well to help with the zombies' path. And then technically we, we could use a full block, but I still don't want too many zombies to be able to get to me. So instead, we're still going to be using this every now and then. So we're going to do this. Uh, we're going to do one, two, three, four, five. And then these are going to be security gates. I wonder if I should make it a little bit taller or higher as well. I'm just afraid if it's too low, the zombies might... Oh, uh, no. This is high enough, right? Two, three, four, five. Hmm. I could actually go... Yeah, I want to make a pillar every now and then as well, but what we could do is just use the centered pole, because, uh, yeah, that should work. When the zombies, uh, this is a little bit too thick, but if the zombies were to fall over here, come on, dude. If the zombies were to fall over here, they should not be able to stand on that little piece over there. This is just to make sure that they can actually pass to us, and, uh, yeah, so it's one, two, three, four, five. On every fifth one, we can put a pillar. One, two, three, four, five. That way, if the Screamer Horde decides to go for the pillars over here, they have to destroy a few pillars just to be able to make sure the whole thing caves in. This over here is going to have to go. Okay, so you. Uh, stay you are standing. Yeah, you should still defend from there, right? I could even, if, if I get overwhelmed over here, we can just spawn in some, um, uh, what do you call those? Mercenaries to help us out of here. I want to make this big enough so we can actually put a wall in front over there. And then technically we need to put a wall around this whole thing so that spiders can't jump up here with us. We want the zombies to uh, pass legit all the way over here. We're just literally going to have barbed fences here and then we're going to shoot straight. But for that to work, the tree needs to go. Okay, so we're going to do this, we're going to do this, we're going to do this. 
I think there is actually a corner block for the uh, for the bars as well, right? Or is that only in Darkness Falls? I'm gonna definitely put some more pillars in because the, all of this weight is definitely gonna make it uh, cave in. But with this, guys, we are level 55. Obviously, if we level up too fast right now, we're gonna be getting zombies that can open up doors. But I'd rather get that than be under leveled for the next horde night. So we're gonna go and see. Uh, I need to go for bars. Where's the bars? 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 And I need the corner bars. Bars corner. And this should be a default rotation as well. Because, I mean, this really, really helps you. Ooh, okay. Copy shape. Copy rotation. Nope. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. See, if you're unlucky, the spider might actually decide, Ooh, I want to jump through that gap over there. Ooh, see, that's too much weight. Too much weight. Um, We can actually go and put plates around this thing to reinforce the pillar. So we do this. You go on face rotation. On face rotation is very dangerous because it's an easy misplace a block. But this way, we make it so that they have to break through the plates to be able to destroy the pillar underneath. And then these blocks over here are giving four more pillars of um, weight carrying capacity. So while that dude is over there, let's quickly go get the screamer block. We have to make sure we have all the ammo on us and then food and drink. And we're going to try out the screamer thingy over here. We might have to drive away in, in a real bad situation. Ooh. Ooh, we're running low on 9 more ammo. Oh, 7.62 ammo. Damn, that ran out fast. We had so much. We have 1,500 on us. Now we only have 1,000 left. That's really, really bad. Okay, anyways. Uh, we have the pistol. We have the shock. Take it, we can use the shotgun as well. Pistol. I'll just keep a second stash on there. First, thing, uh, first things first. Do this. Then grab some more. Okay, and then we have to make sure we're going to use this for the horde base, but we're not going to do that right now. Six can go away, and then over here we have the screamer thingy. Screamer fire. Oh, I also have to make a hatch, probably. Hatch. Iron hatch is going to take 12 seconds. I'd rather put the iron hatch down than a normal hatch and have it fail on me because it's just wood. I'm hoping that the screamer doesn't spawn too many bosses and stuff as well, because that's going to be horrendous. Come on, come on, come on, come on. After this, we need to work a little bit on the horde base as well, because we have 50 blocks. And then there should be more concrete mixed crafted over here. Technically, you should wait until morning before you do something like uh, what I'm going to do right now. It's just safer at, uh, at daytime instead of nighttime, because the zombies are going to be a little bit slower during daytime. Okay, I want to go and put some ladders over here as well. It's going to force them to actually climb. Just in case they want to, uh, they want to try and destroy the block from the side. I just sometimes wish the drones could realize if you're trying to place a block, move out of the bloody way. Unfortunately, the drones are just too dumb for that. Okay, so they're gonna climb up over here. Um, they should path still, even though we put this over here, they should still path over this, because this just slows them down. Nothing else. The only reason we do this and not the bars is the fact that we want to do some headshots. And we can't do headshots if the zombies are jumping over things. Imagine if I were to get a, a an event right now. Normal event, yes. A bandit event and I'm stuck inside a cage, no thank you. At least we do have our... Oh, should we get, uh, get the vehicle closer? We do have the mercenaries that we can spawn in if it really gets dicey. But hopefully that's not going to be necessary. Oh, they might destroy my land claim over there, now that I think about it. Okay, so we're just gonna do this so I can get up there. And then we're gonna pick this up, and then I'm gonna have to keep my vehicle on me. So that we can just drive away if I really, really needed to. Okay, and then over here we put the hatch. Yes. Over here we put another bar. Boom. Okay, so we should be... Ooh, almost said we should be ready for this. I completely forgot that we haven't finished this corner yet because it was too much weight. Okay, guys, now we're going to put the Scream of Fire thingy down, and hopefully we don't need anything special for this. Turn this on. I wonder how long it takes to actually call in a Screamer this way. 
I think let's just, uh, yeah, I'm going to cut away. I'm going to reload my guns. Just make sure we're ready to get uh, going if we really needed to. And as soon as the skewer shows up... Are you freaking kidding? Wait, 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 wait. Don't you freaking dare right there. You can destroy my base. Before the stream even shows up, he's gonna wreck my base. No wonder I've been wasting my uh, 760 ammo. Look how much ammo it takes to take him down. Headshot. Okay, now we can face a screamer horde. Oh crap. Okay, I'm gonna turn this on. I'm gonna turn this on. As long as there's no more seek, uh, mutant seekers right now, we're fine. Technically, since they're running in a straight line, all we have to do is do headshots like this. But I wanna get my M60 up and we need to get the loot. Oh, I just realized they're using the walkway to, the, uh, to their advantage. They're supposed to be able to fall down because it's so thin, but they're actually walking on top of the bars over here. Are there any XP glasses or stuff that I could be wearing right now? We need bonus. I need to be careful, I'm destroying my own base because I'm shooting- Oh, grudge. Because I'm shooting that direction over there. Okay, we have the Scream of Fire on at least. As long as another Seeker doesn't try and interrupt our base over here, we should be fine. I wonder. How many of those zombies are truly fire resistant? And I miss badly. That was really Hostile, dumb just now. All we have to make sure is we shoot in a straight line over here. As the zombies get closer, our guns do more and more and more damage as well. And when the barbed fences go down, that, that's when we have a problem. Okay, this is only a tier 2. I wonder if it's the amount of zombies that spawns, or the uh, toughness of the zombies that affects this. I gotta be careful, I'm gonna destroy my base over there. I'm gonna have to put more blocks on the walls, but I'll destroy that block and not my base blocks. I'm gonna have more loot, I need more loot! I'm gonna tap, 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 tap. This is a nice way to get your M60 up as well. Or your machine gun skill. Remember, the more zombies you kill with headshot, the faster you level up your machine gun. That was a corpulent zombie just now. I thought I heard a... Um, nope, 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 nope. I thought that just now was a... How do you call it? Seeker. If it's a seeker, we have to run away. The seeker will destroy this thing with just one or two explosions. Why are you guys just going for the stairs? Look at all the zombies. Damn. All we have to do is headshots and the loot bags That's keep running in. Mark. Yes. Oh, I should have brought some recog with as well. Now that we have the berserker thingy over here, we'll be able to get more damage done as well. I'm trying to force them to go for the pillars. Why are you guys going for the pillars? Do not go for the pillars, please. See, this is just a test thing as well. Uh, if we see, okay, they're going for the pillars too much, we redesign it and make it a full wall. I want to put a ladder also then a little bit closer to the wall, not just the stairs, so that they're more likely to climb the ladders than go for the pillars themselves. Damn, the XP is just rolling in right now. We have five minutes left of this um, more damage thingy. Yeah, the frame rate's really dropping right now, but at least we're standing in one spot, so it shouldn't be too bad. No. Oh, that was just a vehicle exploding. Oh, phew. I thought it was going to be a seeker just now. If that was a mutant seeker, we would have had a problem just now. Come on, boss. Let's see if this also works against a mutant seeker. Now we're level 56. Nice. I should have probably made a few monotops as well, just in case there's a few zombies that are susceptible to fire. Remember, not all of them are fire resist yet, even though a lot of them have, uh, have ascended. A lot of them are just standing at the back of here, not knowing what to do. Oh, there's more corpulence. I'm just hoping the uh, loot bags don't despawn. Or we'll somehow end up losing them somehow. Somehow, end up somehow, somehow, somehow. <laughs> okay, uh, these would be have the other guns still, so in case this one runs out of ammo. It would start running out of a main ammo right now. That corpulence bound to drop a uh, blue bag, so I have to kill him at least. 
for some reason they're going for the pillars as well. I'm, I'm not a fan of that. I'm not supposed to be going for the pillars right now. The amount of zombies spawning in is just causing a lag. F8. 30 frames per second. Nice blue bag. Oh, it's, it's so close by. Oh, no, that's a seeker. We're going to have to run away. We're going to have to run away right now. Uh, we're going to turn this off. Unfortunately, a mutant seeker is going to mess up this whole thing right now. He's going to destroy it. This is just made out of cobble, so he's going to destroy this place too easily. Okay, I wonder if he just came because he wanted to come, or if he is part of the screamer horde in um, survivor mode. Uh, I don't know if that's because there's a tier 2 screen mode, but there's not supposed to be any mutant seekers in this thing. He's so going to destroy the walker over there. Did I kill him? I need to kill the mutant seeker, man. I'm actually surprised that the cobble's holding up so well, but it's going to destroy soon. Oh, this hatch. I was about to say, the hatch is gone. Master, we are not alone. Where's this dude? Where's this dude? Where's this dude? Come on. He's almost dead, I think. Yeah, he's dead. Nice. Please don't tell me that block's gonna get destroyed. We need to be careful on the minimap. We have to check the minimap every now and then, or the, the compass, to see if there's uh, more red uh, skulls. More red skulls means there's more... Oh, crap. Uh, more red skulls means there's more seekers coming in, and they can do serious block damage if you're not careful. Lag. 20 frames per second, but as soon as all these zombies are gone, all of a sudden it will be so much better. I just never done a rocket launch right now. You'll be able to kill so many zombies. Come on, come in a straight line, come in a straight line, there you go. Oh, the barbed fences are going right now, that's why they're so fast. Let me see if we can't snipe more of these sleeper, uh, these screamers right now. There's more and more and more screamers coming in uh, as we're killing zombies. So even if you kill all the screamers off right now, just killing off the rest of the zombies will spawn more screamers. I'm gonna get as many headshots in as possible right now. Nice. It's just a shame this thing is the marker is so big. If you look at the sniper rifle, for example, the M60, it looks like the cursor is way smaller. Is there another screamer? Two screamers. We might have to drive away soon just so- Ooh, ooh, the stairs are broken. Yep, the stairs are broken, so you are gonna follow me. I'm gonna drive away from here quickly. No, 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 where, where the hell are you going? Dude, move, 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 move. If you get away from here quickly, because now they broke the stairs over there. It's all thanks to the bloody, um, uh, mutant seeker. If I can get back there, I, I want to lure them away so I can get back there. We should be able to place another one in. If you guys, if you guys like this episode, please like, share with your friends, comments, tips, and feedback down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please want to hit the subscribe button for more this content. See you guys next time as we try and fix this. Screamer farm and also go loot all those baggies over there as goodies. This dude needs to go back to his uh, safe spot. But yeah, see you guys then and I hope you guys enjoy. Once again, a huge thank you to all my members and patrons for your support. To join them in supporting the channel, please click the join button or check out the links in the description down below.